Yes. Oh, fine. So, first of all, this is a Swami Naidu. I'm teaching UA Technologies in Durga South. Okay. And I am handling uh, React JS Angular classes. So, in this uh, demo class, just I will brief you what is React JS and what are the advantages of React JS. So, these concepts we are going to discuss now. Okay. So, first, let me open one edit place or notepad. ReactJS. So, what is ReactJS? Generally, if you open any web or somewhere, so we can see different types of uh, definitions about this ReactJS. Like, it is the library of JavaScript, or it is okay your development library. So, like that, different types of uh, definitions we can see. Now, what is it exactly? I will discuss with you. ReactJS is library of JavaScript to implement dynamic websites. <laughs> yes. So what is the ReactJS? Is nothing but the library of javascript okay so react.js nothing but the library of javascript we are using this react.js to implement dynamic websites yes yeah so it is client sets First of all, so what is client side script and what is server side script? These points we are going to discuss now. Yes. Yeah. So before that, we need to discuss something about a website. If you take any website, so in website we have two phases. First one is design phase, and second one is coding phase. Okay. Yes. In design phase, we can create user interfaces. In coding phase, we can implement logics. Yes, that is the main you got it yes so this is design phase and this is coding phase in design phase we can create the user interfaces and coding phase we can implement logics okay user interface nothing but for example we open any website like so facebook i'm going to open Now, here, this page, what we are seeing, look at that page we are calling as yes, user interface. Is it clear? Yes. So, it contains uh, text and text boxes, buttons like that. These are the options you can see in this page. So, this is nothing but user interface. Now, if you observe this, to create the user interfaces, Different technologies are available, HTML, CSS, okay, so bootstrap. Yeah, UI designers will work with this, okay, and they are using HTML, CSS, bootstrap. So HTML to display the controls, like the one dash box, okay, and this one dash box, this is the uh, hyperlink, okay, like that, these type of controls to display 
HTML we are using. CSS to provide the styles like background color, text color, like that these type of styles you can provide using CSS. And bootstrap response. For example, if you open a mobile device, okay, let me open here. Yes. Now here I opened with mobile screen. Then it is existing according to that mobile device. Okay. This type of responsiveness you want to provide. Then we are taking the support of this post. Okay, like this. So this is about designing view. And come to the coding. So coding we are using for business logics. Two types of codings we are using here. One is client side coding. Okay, another one is server side coding. Yes, in website development point of view, we have two types of codings. First one is what? Client side coding. And second one is what? Server side coding. Right. Yes. Yeah. So we can call it as client side script and server side script also. Okay. I think I hope you are understanding my points. Right. So here, yes. any website, if you take the designing phase, is the coding phase. So designing, okay. so we are designing the user interfaces. That is the role of UI designer and UI developer working with the coding area. So that to client side coding. And uh, server side programmers working with server side code like Java, PHP, .NET, ASP, .NET, these programmers. Now, when you take the client side script, what is client side script? Okay. Script. Yes. Executes in browser. You can call as client side script. The script which is executing browser, we are calling it as client side script. So, uh, for example, if you use JavaScript or next level technologies on JavaScript like React, Angular, all this comes under client side scripts. Yes, yeah, all these technologies comes under client side scripts. So, second one is server side script. What is that? Yes, script which executes in web server. So if you implement any logics by using Java, JSP, ASP, PHP, all this comes under server-side scripts. Is it clear? Yes. Like that, we have client-side as well as server set scripts here. So these are two types of scripts we have like this. Yes, yeah. Now what is React.js? It is an open source client set script to implement the websites. Okay. So dynamic means we can implement the logics, business logics in that website. Static website, dynamic website. Static website means it doesn't have any logics. Dynamic website contains logics. That's the difference. Yes. So static website doesn't have any logics, but dynamic website contains the logics. That is the difference here. <clears throat> is it clear? Yes. So any doubts, any questions you have in this point of? Hmm? Yes. No, no. Now, what is the history of React.js and why we are using React.js and which type of which type of operations we can implement in React.js? Those things we'll discuss. One second, please stay on the line.
Yes. Yes. Okay. Come to this. So, what is React.js? It is the library of JavaScript. We are using to implement the dynamic websites. That is the concept of this. Okay. Now, the next thing is, okay, how to work with this React.js? And uh, what are the advantages we have in this React.js? So those points we need to discuss, okay? I hope you got the clarity, what is client-side script and what is server-side script. That clarity you got, I think. Yes? Any questions we have in this point of, any doubts? <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. Now, if you have any questions, you can ping me in chat window or else you can directly ask by unmute your mic. Okay, yeah. So first of all, client set scripts if you take. Why we are using client set technologies in the website development? Before that, a small diagram I want to show you. Okay, now see. For example, this is one server. In this server, we have the page like. This is one server. In this server, we have the web page like this. So this web page contains both the client side and server side scripts. Like this. Yes. So here it contains client side script. So uh, it may be anything JavaScript or Angular or React or Vue.js, anything. So it contains some code. Like that with server set technologies also, it contains some code, ASP or Java JSP like that. Now, for example, in your browser, you're sending to access this web page, but that you send one request, the request response is coming, right? Yeah, so just like the browser URL address, you type the site URL address, then what is happening? One request is going there and response is coming. Yes, yeah. Now, with this request and response, what is happening here, okay? What the client side script we implemented, okay, that client side script also is downloading into the, that client side script also downloading into the browser. Yes, the original code, what did the client side script implemented? That original code is downloading into the browser. Then in browser, it executes. Okay, every browser contains engines to run the client side scripts. But server side script, it will not download into browser, it executes here only in server mission. Only result is downloading into the browser. Only result is downloading here. So, like that, so client side script executes in the client system. Client means the person who is accessing the website, we are calling that person as client. So in his system, it is execute, it executes, okay? So that code downloads at the time of accessing the web page. But server says script executes in web server. So according to the execution location, we're calling the script says client side as well as server says scripts. I hope you got the clarity in this point, of, right? Yes. So now you can ask me one question, okay? Yes. What is uh, which type of which type of functionalities we can implement using client side technologies? Why we are using the client side technologies? Yes. So for that, yeah, answer is client side scripts. So we can use. Really, I wanted to. Okay, anyhow, yeah, we can use first one. To apply dynamic functionalities on HTML buttons. 
<coughs> what is the first reason to use this? To apply dynamic functionalities on the HTML controls. By default, all HTML controls are static controls. So static means the properties cannot change once the control is loaded in browser. That meaning is static. You want to convert this static control as dynamic control, then we are using these client side scripts. One example I will show you. Okay, now. <coughs> desktop one html file i'm creating so demo dot html now in this file the body open tag body there ing source is equal to now, here in my system, I have smile.png1 image is there. I am displaying that image. So, just don't try to understand this code. See the result. Okay. So, later we will discuss the code, everything here. Okay. Yes. Then I will also explain you HTML basics here to understand our React concepts. Okay. That time I will cover image, everything here. Anyhow, simple image control I created. Two properties have given one is src image name i specified here another one is with property 200 pixels have given okay so this is pixels now if you observe this so this file is demo.html i created right click open with browser so <clears throat> what is that smile lot jpz i think png image is there. now it is loaded in browser with these two properties if you observe here it remains like this only so there is no change in this image control okay so with pro point of view or src point of view, what i have given with these values it is loaded Okay, so this is static. Now my requirement is if I perform any action on this control, like click or mouse over something, I want to change the width of this image or I want to change the source of this image. So that is not possible with HTML. For that, we are taking the support of, yes, client side scripts. For that, we are taking the support of this client side scripts. Now here, I'm writing a simple code. So don't try to understand this. Okay, so with JavaScript, I wanted to show you now. Later, same, we will discuss with React. Okay, I have given like this. Now, once if I refresh and click on this, I can see we are getting this output. I can see refresh. So now this is my, when I click, all dot JP system. Is this clear? So, this is applying the dynamic functionalities on the HTML controls. Okay, so not only on image control, any control, not only, okay, change the source, any type of source we can change, okay, any type of property we can change with the help of client script. Here I use a JavaScript, okay, we will discuss the same concepts with React, okay, that's the first and uh, what is the second reason to use this client set technologies to validate input controls. Yeah, text box is empty or not, password data, password matching or not. These validations we can perform. Okay. Third point to work with Ajax. Yes, this is very, very important. Okay, we are using Ajax. Ajax is very, very important to work with the Ajax concept. We are also using the same, okay? It's client side skips. So in future, we'll discuss what is Ajax and how to work with Ajax, everything we'll discuss. Okay, I will spend around two to three days to discuss the Ajax. So that time I will explain you how to call the servers and API services, how to send the data into the database, how to work with the third operations, everything we'll discuss. Okay, and fourth one, 
will execute logics. Already I told you this point. See, the logics we are executing, so those logics execute in browser. For example, in banking applications, EMA calculation option is there, that button, okay? EMA calculation button is there. So user will enter, user means client. Client will enter principal amount and uh, tenure of load. After that, when he click on the calculate button, we need to display how much EMI he has to pay per month. That information we need to display, right? How much EMI he has to pay per month. Yes. In this point of view, in this point of view, we are getting the support of, yes, either client side technology or server side technology. Anyone we are using. But what the benefit if I use client side script? Benefit is when user click on this button, that code executes in user system. So that's why immediately can see the result. In case same logic, if I implement using server side script, then what happens if user click on the button, on request is going to the server, there that script is executing, response is coming back to the browser. Is it clear? For this entire process, for this entire process, it takes some time. So that's why, due to that reason, most of the logics in website we are implementing with client side scripts only. Is this clear? Yes. So these are the reasons why we are using client side scripts. Okay. Definitely in interview question, if you are attending as a beginner, okay, fresher. They will ask you what we can do with client side script. These type of questions they will ask you. Chances are, so then simply you can share these points with them. Okay. Now we discussed what is client side script and what is server side script, and we also discussed client side script why we are using. Now basic history of React we are discussing. Okay. So React implemented by Jordan what in the year 2013. Who implemented this? Mr. Jordan what in the year 2013. Yes, what are the technologies he used to implement this? Okay, so actually JavaScript only. That's why we are calling it as JavaScript library. He used it JavaScript. And what are the reason to implement this? Yes. So actually, he is uh, one of the person in the development phase of Facebook. In Facebook, chart concept is that to work with this chart concept, he implemented this React JS. What is that? To work with the Facebook chart, he implemented this React JS in the year 2013. Okay. Yes. So later, Facebook added more features and released this React as open source client says script from then outside projects also means outsiders also started working with this react js like that so nowadays okay in these days many websites like <coughs> instagram apple etc etc all these websites contains react coding flipkart okay all these websites so this is the basic history it is maintaining by facebook who maintains this React? Facebook Corporation. Is it clear? Yes. So these are some points we discussed about this basic information of React. So you have any questions? All of you clear with this? Ajay, Ashok. Yes, Chandan. Harshita. Yeah, uh, yeah, one question I have. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. till now I was in, uh, I think uh, speaker is uh, low. That's why I couldn't hear. Yeah, tell me. So all of you clear with this? Hello. Yeah. Yeah, the, to execute the logics in the client side, I didn't understand that. Uh, to execute the logics in client side means okay. I will show you one thing. For example, 
Yes. So Facebook is there, right? If I right click and go to the view page source, an option is there, right? Yes. Now you can see, enter this is nothing but client side script, which is implemented by Facebook. So the code is downloading into our system when we are accessing that web page and executes in our system. Okay, so we are using browser, right? Okay, I'm using browser here to download the Facebook. And in Facebook, home page is downloaded now. In that home page, what the client side script they implemented that is downloaded into my browser. And it executes in my browser. Every browser contains engine to run the client side scripts. Got it? So that is the concept of client side script. So client side script executes where client's mission, server side script executes in website. So it is clear that point, first of all. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, if you write uh, in a in a web page, for example, you're developing one website, their home page is there. In that home page, you want to perform any validations. Okay. So, for example, if I click on login button, so it displays error messages like this, right? These type of validations. Or else, so you want to send any request to the server. For example, if you enter any email ID, okay. Yes. Then what is happening? When I click on the login, one request is going to the server. Okay. So that request is valid and this email ID is valid or invalid. If it is valid, it is navigating to the other place. Otherwise, it is the error message. To send the request to the server, so that time also we are using client side skip. Not only validations, to send the request to the server. We are taking the support of Ajax. And the next one, so some calculations or any logics you want to execute. Okay, so in that point of view, you're using client side skip. Okay, so in browser, you want to execute the logics, then we are using client side skip. Next one, okay, HTML controls are there. Those are static controls. You want to convert them as dynamic controls. Then also we are using the client side skip. For example, one more website I'm going to open. So here, flip card. Yeah. So in this flip card, one or two locations I will show you where the user is client side skip. See, this slider is there, right? Still, it is loading. One second. So, this is nothing but client side script. When I click on this, then it is changing that sliding. Okay, that is nothing but client side script. So, for example, if I click on any option, now we can see this. One second. Now we have some options like this. Regular washing machine is selected. Yes. Now here, when I click on any washing machine, then for example, if I click on any image, if I move mouse over in any image, okay, it is nothing but client set code. Okay. So immediately it is changing that one. So it will work even if you disconnect with the internet, check in your systems, open this space and move this. Okay, so those images will change without internet connection also. Okay, because it is working, changing is working based on client side script. You got it. So no need to send any request to the server. Like that, here many concepts, if you observe here, okay, many concepts, for example, here, uh, go to this. So when I move this one, okay, some calculation is happening here. Okay, accordingly, the data is updating. So that time we are using Ajax. So that is coming from server only, but to fetch the data, we are using Ajax, that is client side code. Okay, like that, if I add any product here, calculations, it is performing here only. So that is client side code. Like that in website, many locations, we are in the client side scripts. Okay, I will also explain you how to add the cart in the product. So these type of funds of salsa, we will discuss. Okay, yes. Now, what is, your doubt, any other doubt you have? Uh, regarding the timings, uh, uh, what are the timings for the for the sessions actually, for daily sessions? At 7.30 to 8.30. Uh, morning or evening? This time only. You are from IST or any other location? No, no, Hyderabad only, India only. Yeah. So yeah, evening time. only, this time only, right? Or, or uh, I will not. This slot only daily. This okay. slot. Morning uh, already batch started one week back. 
Okay. Okay. And registration is also closed. You want morning slot? No, no, no. I need evening slot only. Yeah, then you can go through this. Okay. And it is 45 days, right? Hello. What is that? Yeah. What is the duration? It's like one and a half month. Duration is uh, six, uh, every day, uh, one hour. Okay. I mean, how many days? days are 65 to 70. See, I will discuss these all points uh, uh, by end of the session. So, uh, technically, okay, in technical point of view, what are the points I discussed till now? If you have any doubts in those points, you can ask. Okay, I will share uh, what the duration everything, end of the session, no worries. So till now, what are the things uh, we discussed in that point of view, technical point of view, have any queries? If no queries, then I will go for the next step. Hmm? Okay. I will share everything after this concept, okay? Now here, what are the features of React. Now, in your mind, there may be one question. Yeah, already JavaScript is there. Then why React? Why they added? Uh, what are the things they added in React? What more they added? And Angular is also there. So what is the difference between this Angular and React? This type of, okay? So doubts you may have. So for that, we will discuss the points here. First of all, I will discuss the differences, what are not there in JavaScript and what we have in React.js, okay? So React supports data binding, but not only React, even Angular also supports data binding, okay? JavaScript is not supporting data binding. So what is data binding? It's brief idea. Later, I will discuss the programs, everything. So for example, you are creating one variable. So one variable I'm creating. Variables generally we are using to store some values. Now programs to perform some calculations, we are creating the variables, right? Yes. Serial number is equal to 100 I have given. Okay, fine. Generally we want to display this variable value in a text box or in a paragraph tag. So we are executing some code. That code reading the variable and displaying on the HTML control. Yes, what the output we are getting here? Under the output. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Now here that script we are executing here. Okay. Fine. Now in case if the variable is modified from 100 to 200 something, it is changed. Okay. So I updated this variable from any other function or some other location. My question, will it update in this test box without executing this code, without re-executing? No. Again, when this variable value is modified, again, you have to execute this entire code to get the updates of the variable into this test box, to get the updates of the variable into the test box. Like that, whenever, whenever the variable is modifying, every time we are executing this code to get the updates. So that is somewhat hectic process to the programmer. So because we're not single variable, we are creating n number of variables. So those updates you want to bind on the HTML controls every time. That is a complicated process. For that, they introduce one concept that is data binding. What is data binding? Nothing is there. Binding data. That is in the sense, what is that? Variables. Binding data with HTML controls. Okay, what is the benefit of this? So what are the modifications we are performing the variables? Those modifications will affect on the HTML automatically means we are creating a, a link we are creating a link between the variable and html control. so this concept we are calling as this concept we are calling as data binding okay so it will take care about the modifications and all is it clear yes so that's the first point second point supports so just the value I am discussing, so programmatically I will show you later, supports single page applications. See why React, Angular, this technology is popular. So because of this, two points, major roles. Single page application is very, very important concept. We are spending around eight days with this single page application. So that time only we are discussing how to work with the navigation from 
one page to another page okay and how to work with the login logout role based authentication everything okay so what is single page application on whatever you have, i will tell you for example you're developing on website website means we are creating a number of pages home page about us contact us like that so many people that thinking single page application means so a programmer will develop entire website in a single page don't think like that okay yes so nobody writes the entire website code in one page website means contains number of pages and what is single page concept here i will tell you so generally normal procedure if you observe here when you send the request to the server then that page is loading first home page is loading their hyperlinks we are displaying to open about us as well as contact us when i click on the about us then another request is going to the server the response is coming back contact us another request is going to the server the response is coming back like that every time what is happening the request is going to the server the response is coming back to the browser means every time there is some network transferring between this browser and server like that not only one person n number of users accessing that website everyone is sending the request continuously to the website and uh, they are getting the response it is huge network traffic so that's why they invented this single page application we can also calling it as routing concept what are the benefit of this yes benefit in nothing but we are creating one routing object okay how to create i will discuss later one object we are creating that object we are calling as routing object so in that object we are binding this home page about as contact as everything when user is sending the first request then what is happening enter that object is loading into the user system client system in this object what the pages we created those pages are storing in the cache memory location of this see clear now, when user click on this about us, directly it is loading from here. Contact us directly it is loading from here. Means second time onwards, no need to send any request to the server. This concept we are calling as single page application concept. You understand this? Yes. We are also calling it as a routing concept. Is this clear? So, over you, I told you, if you don't understand, no worries because. Uh, no programming nothing we discussed okay so anyhow single page application reduces the number of hits on the server and increases the performance of application that is the main is it clear yes that's the second point next one here supports many validators in javascript we are using okay logics to implement the validations but React.js as well as Angular also three different validators are available. Next one supports JSX format. Yeah, so this JSX format, if you take, it is not available in JavaScript and Angular also. But React supports this. <coughs> what is JSX? Nothing is there. We can write the HTML code inside the JavaScript. Generally, what happens if I write HTML inside JavaScript raises the error messages. It raises error messages. But if you take the JSX, okay, then the JSX supports, okay, so com combination means combining the HTML and JavaScript. So for example, I am executing one logic, JavaScript logic. That result I want to display on the HTML control. Immediately, we can place the HTML control there only instead of the JavaScript code. No need to create HTML file separately and no need to call into the JS file. So this type of flexibility is there that the main supports JSX. I will show you how to work with that. And next one, okay. virtual DOM concept is there in React. It is not there in Angular. So virtual DOM, because of this virtual DOM, so React application performance is faster than Angular application. Okay. So what is virtual DOM? What is DOM? We will cover in our discussion. So remember this point till then. Okay. So React application is faster than Angular because of the virtual DOM. Faster means don't expect minutes like that. So some milliseconds a difference is there. 
not more than that. That at the time of updating the data. Okay. Yes. It supports virtual now. Next one here. React native. We can use to implement mobile applications. That is one more point. We are using to implement the mobile applications. Not only not only web pages. So here in web applications for designing HTML and for client side coding React. Okay. And in mobile application for designing native, we are using, but coding is React we can use. To display the mobile screens, to design the mobile screens, layouts, everything. So native is there. In website, HTML, how we are using in mobile development, native package we are using. Yeah, that is one framework. Okay, coding we can use React. Means if you know React JS, you can also develop mobile applications, not only web applications. We can also develop mobile applications. So that is the main point. Okay, we are having here. Is it clear? Yes. Next one. React Native we can use to implement mobile applications. I told you. React supports Redux. And Redux is very important. We will discuss how to work with the Redux. Okay, it is state container. You want to transfer the data from one page to another page in that point of view using Redux. Okay. Redux is very, very important for us. Next one here, simple coding. Coding is very, very simple. Okay, it's compared with JavaScript, everything is built in support for us. Okay, that's why coding is very, very simple. Like that, these are the major advantages, major. Apart this, we have few more uh, means, uh, features compared with the JavaScript. So we will discuss those features in our running flow. So these are the major points what we have. So what are the features we have in this React just compared with the JavaScript. I hope you're clear with this. Yes. Any doubts, any questions you have? Yeah, that uh, regarding single page application, like uh, we'll be fetching all the data together and uh, we'll be displaying. Uh, your uh, voice is low. Please come again. Is it better now? Hello? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, regarding single page application, so mm -hmm. we'll be fetching the all the required data in one request and uh, we'll that be displaying time, that time, okay. Actually, templates are loading first. Mm -hmm. Data will load when you are navigating the page. Okay. For example, home page okay. about us contact as in contact as some data is there. Okay. So when I send the request, mm -hmm. home about us contact, these templates will load. And when you call the contact us, okay, that time in backend with Ajax, request is going to the server and it is calling the data. Is it clear? Okay. Then and second point, all the templates also we don't load at the time of page loading. So lazy load concept. Okay. So based on the lazy load, one by one we will load. Okay. Otherwise, uh, first request will take much time, right? So that's why mm -hmm. they're taking these all these things into constraints. So I will discuss how to work with the lazy load, how to work with the Ajax. That's fine. Uh, uh, then what exactly meaning of single page application in that context? Yeah, so, it, so here uh, it will not reload the browser, first of all. When you are uh, uh, redirecting from home to about us and about us to contact us, the browser will not reload. So what the browser opened very first time, so that browser only reminds to okay. show the other okay. templates. That is the single page. Okay. Okay. okay, and those templates related HTML script, everything will load into the browser. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. I told you we are spending around eight to nine days with this concept. Okay, then you will get more clarity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine, any other doubts? Now here, uh, the course duration is 65 days to 70 days it will take, okay? And uh, JavaScript is a prerequest is, but uh, you don't have idea, means some students may not have idea on the JavaScript. Complete JavaScript I will cover here. 
okay advanced javascript is very important what is promise what is callback functions okay and uh, how many types of functions we have like the hosting not only in development point of view, even in interview point of view, also JavaScript is very, very important. Okay, that's the first time we cover the JavaScript. Is it clear? And it will take 20 days to cover the JavaScript. After that, I will start the React.js. So database connectivity and third operations, okay, uh, and bootstrap integration. So uh, how to call the uh, Java, APS and node APS. Okay, everything we'll discuss here. And the next one here, I will give you the recordings. Okay, so every day recordings. Okay, after uh, this link, so this is a, a demo link, it will run up to four to five days. After that, it will convert into the payment link. Then I will give you the Google Drive access. In that Google Drive access, uh, recordings, every day recordings, material programs, everything available, you can access those things. Okay, yes. And uh, class time is 7.30 to 8.30. Initial uh, demo classes up to demo link, we are spending around 50 minutes like that, I zero. After that, one hour every day. Yes? Yeah. So demo means I don't repeat the same concepts. Okay, tomorrow we'll discuss another topic. I just give you five to 10 minutes pressure in the previous class. After that, I'll discuss another topic. Is it clear? I don't repeat the same concepts up to five days. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? So the record topic we do. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Come. Are we going to use TypeScript here? Huh? Are we going to use TypeScript? No, no, no. I, I will discuss with JavaScript. Okay. Okay. So we are discussing okay. because in React companies to work with the React, okay, ninety percent is companies using JavaScript, okay, ten percent is companies using TypeScript. Okay, okay, okay. So type, you see, you know, JavaScript TypeScript is very simple because in TypeScript, okay, so it is super set of JavaScript. It is additionally providing data types and some hoops support, right. but after transpiling. TypeScript is converting into JavaScript because browser cannot understand TypeScript. Browser can understand JavaScript, right? Right. If you want me to show you one or two programs with TypeScript, I will show you at the end. That is not issue. Okay. okay. Any so more? The, recording, the recordings which you are providing, right? Can we download it or is, it can be only view? Up, view? You can access uh, those are available up to one year. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And one more thing, sir, this React thing, right? Uh, nowadays, all our micro based service things, right? So, are we going to integrate with Node type of thing or how? Yeah, I told you already, I will show you how to access the Node APS everything. Uh, okay, in short, it is like we are going to integrate with Node so yes. that it will become a micro service type of thing, right? Huh? Come again? I mean, nowadays every uh, every application is a microservice based application, right? So yes. UI is also one type of microservice. It means that we are going to integrate something into Node.js, React into Node, so that it will become one microservice, how it is there in the real time and all that. See, the thing is here, it may be microservice or API service, whatever, REST API service or whatever it may be, okay? Hmm. So communication channel is common, okay? How okay. to uh, communicate, so that is concept is common. So I will explain that one and I will show you examples uh, how to access the API service and how to uh, get the response from API service payload, how to send the payload with the headers of API service. Okay, those things, everything we'll discuss. Is okay. it clear? Yeah. yeah. Any other doubts? Okay, then we will meet in next class tomorrow, same time. Thank you. Bye-bye.